Today we're reading Emily Macazee's There's Broccoli in My Ice Cream, a deliciously funny, perfect for fussy eaters. There was nothing good about fruit and vegetables in Granville's opinion. Why on earth would anyone want to eat green things that crunched, yellow things that mushed, and red things that squashed? Especially when there were so many sweet, sugary, cakey things, cold, creamy, slurpy things, and chalky, walky, gooey things to eat instead. But Granville, said Mum, vegetables are so good for you. You grow up to be big and strong, just like me, said Dad. Look, Dinah loves crunchy apples, added Sister Poppy. Oh, you won't be able to see in the dark if you eat, don't eat your carrots, warned Uncle Bob. But Granville didn't care. He felt big and strong already. And if Dinah wanted to eat apples, that was fine by him. The trouble was that no one in Granville's family gave up that easily. Granville knew that hidden on his plate of things he did like, he would always find a vegetable lurking somewhere. Blech, blech, yuck. Why are there veggies in my ice cream? Crowned Carrot Contest Champion. Being the youngest in a very long line of green grocers, the prize-winning gardeners, and prize-winning gardeners, Granville's hatred of all things green and juicy was, well, rather disappointing. This is the Crowned Carrot Contest Champion, the most marvelous mushroom metal, the king of cauliflowers, the winner of the prettiest pumpkin prize two years running, legendary leek grower, winner of the Colossal Cabbage Cup. So those are all the awards that Granville's family had won. Especially for his grandpa Reggie, proud owner of Reggie's Veggie's Van. And this is Reggie's Veggie's Van. Fab and fruity, green and gorgeous. It was he was passionate about parsnips, mad about mushrooms, and absolutely bonkers about broccoli. He had even won an award for his marvelous fruit and vegetables, the magnificent magic watering can, and it made everything he planted grow even faster and taste even more delicious. And Granville's sign says, I hate greens. So you see, Granville's hatred of broccoli and beans, peaches and pears, cabbage and corrugates just wouldn't do. One night, while Granville was fast asleep, his family gathered in Grandpa Reggie's potting shed for a top secret meeting and hatched a plan. The next morning, they put their plan into action. Grandpa Reggie, said Poppy, and innocently, what would you like for your birthday? I, how about a new toothbrush, said Mum. A pair of socks, suggested Dad. Or a jigsaw, perhaps, said Uncle Bob. Poor Grandpa thought Gran, uh, poor Grandpa thought Granville. Those presents sounded so boring. Grandpa, Tell me what you really like, and I'll make sure you get it, he whispered. The plan was working. Well, Granville, funny you should ask, said Grandpa Reggie. What I'd really love for my birthday is for you to grow something we can eat together. I can even let you borrow my magnificent magic watering can. Um, okay said Granville, surprising everybody. That afternoon, Grandpa Reggie took Granville to the veggie patch to show him what to do. They weeded, raked, dug holes, planted seeds, watered the seedlings, and picked 
the crops. And at the end of the day, they had a huge basket of fruits and vegetables to sell from Reggie's veg for, from Reggie's veggies van. The next morning, Granville arrived at the veggie patch bright and early. He couldn't wait to get started on a plan of his very own. Surely, he thought, licking his lips, if Grandpa's watering can is really magic, then anything I plant will grow to be big and delicious. So Granville sewed pizza slices and burgers, sweets and chocolate bars, cream cakes and biscuits, and lots and lots of ice cream and jelly. Grandpa Reggie was going to love his special birthday garden. Granville was sure of it. At last, it was Grandpa's birthday. Grandpa wanted to open his presents at the veggie patch, so everybody followed him there. Where they found Granville and the most extraordinary garden, nobody had ever seen a jelly jungle or a pizza plant before, let alone any absolutely enormous knickerbocker glory tree. Ta-da! Happy birthday, Grandpa, shouted Granville. Come and have a taste, Grandpa. It's delicious. Oh, dear. The family plan had failed most spectacularly. It was time to try something drastic. Oh, yuck, said Grandpa Reggie, winking at the others. Granville was very disappointed indeed that Grandpa Reggie didn't like his present. You know, the only way you'll get me to try any of that yucky ice cream is if you try eating some of this tasty broccoli I grew for you. Granville went quiet. Well, maybe he could have just a little tiny taste to make Grandpa happy on his birthday. So he bravely opened his mouth, closed his eyes, nibbled, chewed, and gulped. Granville's family waited nervously for the verdict until he surprised them all. Actually, Grandpa, broccoli isn't too bad, he declared. In fact, it's really rather yummy. Hooray! Yippee! Woohoo! Everybody celebrated Grandpa Reggie's birthday and Granville's broccoli bravery long into the night with the most wonderful ice cream and broccoli banquet. From that day forward, Granville loved broccoli. He even tried lots of other juicy fruits and crunchy vegetables too. Grandpa Reggie was so proud of him that Granville was allowed to use his magnificent magic watering can whenever he wanted. And just like Grandpa Reggie, Granville's customers loved the things he grew. Roll up, roll up, come and get your broccoli ice cream. And this has Knicker Broccoli Glory, Spinach Swirl Cabbage and Cream, New Potato Neapolitan, Parsnip Parfait, Leek Lolly, and Tutti Rudy. Good night. I love you. Mm -hmm.